one of you guys. I just wanted to come and talk today. And, um, and what's today? Today is Wednesday. So tomorrow at 5 o'clock in the morning, me and Zayla, we're going to be getting up. And we are going to be taking the Greyhound <clears throat> to Richmond, Virginia first. And then we have five minutes to zip over to the Hampton bus because we're going to go to, to Hampton and we're going to go on one of our first college tours at Hampton University. So I'm very excited uh, for that. The process is kind of, you know, like... I don't know, the process is just, it's kind of a lot. I know that seems kind of weird because it's just like traveling and things like that. But, you know, you have to travel to the place, you have to rent a hotel, you have to either secure a rental or you have to, you know, get a car service or something like that. And so... It's just a lot for a college tour, to be honest. And then the money that's involved is a lot as well. And being that, I don't want to just go to Hampton and then turn right back around and come back to New York. So I'm actually going to stay two nights in Richmond, Virginia. And even though I really don't want to stay two nights in Richmond, Virginia, I didn't stay in Hampton because the hotels, honestly, is way more money. And that is so annoying that they would charge so much money for a hotel around a college. Because all of the hotels is basically around this college. It's like 10 minutes away from the college. So why would you charge so much money and you know that these families have to come from out of town possibly. I mean, for them to be staying in a hotel, they're coming from out of town. And so you're charging them all of this money. So I decided to just take the bus back to Richmond and stay at a hotel for two nights in Richmond and things like that. And there's other reasons why, you know, I decided to do it around this time, you know, because this things going on in New York and you know sometimes you just want to give you know space and different things like that and so yeah but so that's what we're going to be doing and like I said I truthfully I don't want to go to Richmond because I hate spending my money in Richmond and there's a story behind that but I won't get into that because that was a very 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 long time ago and they said that you should forgive and forget right so I'm trying to forgive rich men for what they did to me. But so that's gonna be, you know, pretty exciting. I think the tour, <coughs> excuse me, is an hour and a half. So it's like a 30 minute speaking session and then there's the hour campus tour where you, you know, um, I guess basically shown the different facilities that they have. And so yeah, so like I said, we'll be getting up 5 o'clock tomorrow morning and our bus leaves at 7.30 tomorrow morning and we're going to get to Richmond at 2.20. In a moment, and I, uh, I will walk out. Our Hampton bus leaves at 225. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do once I get to Richmond. But I'm thinking about maybe renting a vehicle and, you know, maybe visiting some of the parks and different things like that. Because they have a really nice park called Maymont Park. And so, I'm thinking about visiting the park. Definitely, I'm going to vlog the whole experience. I'm not really sure if we can vlog the information, informational session, which is the half an hour. But I'm pretty sure that you can, of course, you know, take pictures and film the walk, the actual tour. So, I'm going to definitely do that. Yeah.
I'm gonna definitely do that. So right now Dimitri is oh shoot, I should have told him did he take a phone? Darn it. I should have told him to get me. No, I'm just gonna eat some of his oatmeal. Because I actually I was okay. Basically, when I had my second daughter, <coughs> I, and I know I'm changing the subject right now, and this subject is about to go dramatically right, left, whichever way, but when I had my second daughter, I discovered that I had fibroids, and I don't know, I mean, I have a, 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 I have a great big male audience on my channel which I think I have 96% of males and 4% of females on my channel which I really don't mind even though I would like and I don't I'm not sure if I said this before I would love to have that balanced out um, and I will definitely love some more female support. What I'm about to say is more relatable to females or some females who may deal with fibroids. Like, with the lower part of my stomach, when it's protruding, it's because of the fibroids. And I don't really talk about that, you know, because I, I used to exercise all the time. And I've been on a diet probably since I was like 14 years old. You know, I've always tried to like maintain my weight. So, but no matter how small I get, my stomach has always been an issue for me. Even when I was small, like you can see, I basically have this stomach that's like coming out from this little teeny tiny body. And it's because of my fibroids. So, there you are. It's because of my fibroids. And I have not been eating at one point. You know, I was eating everything that helps keep the fibroids low. And at one point, it was, they were barely there. Like, when I went to go get my pap, it was barely there. And that's because of my eating habits. And now I have changed my eating habits where I'm just eating any and everything. Like, I don't even care at this point. Like, seriously. And so now, I'm just like, you know what? I can see that it's getting worse. Yeah, so I need to change my diet. I know I need to change my diet. I know there's things I need to do differently. And that will help with the growth because truthfully, it's really out of control. Um, It's really out of control. Like, it's so annoyingly out of control. And it's not, it just does not look great at all. And so, yeah, but I just you know sorry males men whoever gonna get to this point to watch this but it's just it is what it is so you know and it's good you know for people to know certain things so that don't know certain things and be wondering like really like what is going on and why so if you ever see a woman like most likely if she's not pregnant and she's looks fit but her stomach you know it's a health problem you know so try not to shame her you know try not to make her feel bad about it because it's really you know I mean you can reduce it but you really you can't get rid of it unless they remove it from your body um, all together or I mean maybe water fasting that probably would help like if you just went on a all water diet but it's there so eventually if you, even if you did that and you start eating again most likely they're gonna you know to some degree they're gonna come back so but anyway yeah so just thought I would share that with you guys but like I said right now um, Dimitri he's at the store and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna start packing my items and I think I was saying that I'm gonna just have you know my backpack and then that's it and I'm gonna try to put as much as many items as I possibly can inside of that backpack I want to take my computer with me so that way I can edit I want to try to edit 
probably Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Like, I want to put up a vlog for those three days. That's what I want to do. So, I'll see if that can happen. Because I know I'm not consistent with my vlogs. I, I know. I understand. I get it. And I cannot give anyone a definitive um, schedule. Because I just... Sometimes, the, the, sometimes things are just not aligned right for me to be able to do that but I am going to start getting better with that because I really want to you know take this here I want to take it serious you know not full time serious but I want to take it serious and I want to start putting out more content and you know but when I put stuff out I want it to make sense and I don't want it to just be doing things just to be doing it so, but anyway, I will pick this back up when I get home. Right now, it is so freaking hot in New York. I am, like, on fire. And I don't do well with the heat. So, listen, I'm about to go find me some naked clothes so I can put on for the rest of the summer. Seriously.